Hey guys, good morning. Hope y'all are having a great day so far. Glad to be back with y'all again. Uh, like I said in my last video, I've been taking a, a few um, late mornings. Basically where that means is I come in and work a, work a 12 to 9 shift. So I'm able to get some more of these shapes out for you guys. Uh, but get better about posting stuff. I know I'm a little bit behind, but you know it is what it is. So anyway, uh, for today's shave, hope you guys enjoy it. It's going to be another single edge. Uh, we're using the uh, Micromatic Clog Proof with a uh, CVS blade on there. Um, since today is Thursday, we're going to do Tobacco Thursday. Typically, I would do it on Tuesday. Tuesday, I had a bunch of stuff going on. Couldn't get to it, so we're going to make it today. All right? Um, we've got a great aftershave, too. This is going to be an easy shave today. Uh, coffee that we're drinking this morning is going to be Cafe Bustello. Thanks to Fuzzy for letting me know about it. Great coffee. Great coffee. This is going to be my second cup, by the way. All right. Just out of the shower. Face is good and hydrated. Got our brush soaking. We're going to go ahead and uh, wring our brush out. And, of course, we're soaking it in our uh, Norland Saints uh, cup because you have to have a Saints cup. All right. Bring our brush out here. Our brush for today's shave is going to be the Bevel Shave System Badger Brush. I believe they call it the Best Badger, but that's kind of arbitrary because the rating systems are not all the same. So, anyway, put a little bit of the water from the brush back onto my face again. And we're going to go ahead and we're going to get started loading. Hope you guys are having a great week. I know mine's turning out to be decent. Not horrible, not outstanding, just a, just a good week. So... Hope you guys uh, have a good day at work today, or if you're off, hope you have a productive day. Uh, I know that uh, I got to go back to work. I didn't win the, I didn't win the, you know, whatever six billion dollars that it was, or whatever, in the, uh, in the lottery. So there's that. You know, I guess I'm still a working man, right? All right. So we've got the creamy goodness on there. We're just going to take a bunch of this off of the bowl, apply it right to the face. Because that's the way we roll. We're hardcore like that. What's you guys' favorite soap to use? Mine would be actually probably a cross between, or a tie between the uh, tobacco and some of the uh, soap that a member over on uh, the forum sent me. A really good friend of mine from Italy. Uh, I can't even pronounce the name of it, but it's great stuff. All right, I'm going to get a little bit more water on the tips of our brush here. There we go. We're right into a face ladder. They said that today is the, or yesterday, rather, was the last day that we should see rain for a while. Well, I'm thankful for it. Don't get me wrong. It is going to be kind of nice to not have any for a while, making everything slick and muddy and dirty and making life take longer in general it seems like but then again I got some crops in the ground so uh, I'm kind of glad to see it to be honest with you oh, got a little bit on my glasses here let me get that off so I can see what I'm doing there we go so good thing is I can see stuff up close just uh, can't see far away but that's okay because I can see a truck coming at me Apparently that's frowned upon, but I always thought that was important. And as you can see, this bucket of, or this bucket of German goodness just kind of lathers up great. No issues at all with it. It doesn't take a long load either. All right. Recently over on one of Fuzzy's videos, they were doing some talking about uh, family stuff. And what all he had maybe using it for a shave so I'm trying to get everybody to do Sunday all in the family shave I mean whatever you have from your family members on Sunday be it a, a mug or a brush or a razor you know, whatever the case may be use that on Sunday for the shave I think that'd be pretty cool uh, it'd be a good idea we'll see who all gets behind it but I'm probably gonna do it anyway All right, go ahead and hop into this shave. All right, like I said before, um, Micromatic Clog Proof. 
And if you haven't been over to the forum to check out the uh, conversation we had about the micromatic, you really should. A lot of good information there. First pass can be with the grain here. Oh yeah, by the way, this is a uh, brand new uh, CVS blade. Here. A little more water in our cup, sorry. There we go. These micromatics, man, these are some great, great shavers. I don't see how people can not like them. They say they're too aggressive. They're not too aggressive. Aggressive is a state of mind. I can get a good shave, and I'll show you one of these days. I can take a Ball in tech. I know that's a double edge, but I can take that and with the right technique. Get just good a shave as if somebody uses a feather blade and a UR41. Okay, it, it's all subjective. It's all about your technique. It's all about your angle. It's all about your pressure or no pressure. It's not about the. It's not about the blade. A blade's a blade. Are some sharper than others? Yeah. Will the still cut hair? Yeah. There we go. I was talking to a uh, friend of mine yesterday uh, who's from back where I'm from and uh, we were talking about the differences between you know, where I'm from and where I'm at now, originally, there's a lot of differences. You never know um, how culture is different wherever you go, especially in the deep south. All right, first pass, super simple. Second pass needs a little bit more water on the brush. We're just going to dip the tips of the brush into the water. There we go. And people ask me sometimes, how do you know how, if it needs water? Well, the more that you do it, yeah, it really just becomes by feel. You can feel if it's dry on your face. You can feel if it's too wet. You can just kind of, just kind of feel it, and can't really explain it other than the more that you do it, the easier it'll be to to know what you need to do. If you need to add more soap, you need to add more water. It's just one of those things, trial and error, really. You guys started doing any uh, planning for Thanksgiving or for Christmas or anything like that? I know it's just barely uh, Halloween, but you know, there are big box stores have all the stuff out already. All right, second pass. And as you can hear, it is still cutting very well. That's what a good fresh blade will get you. Especially when you get that right angle on it. Right, there we go. Hopefully, here soon, we will have a change in location. You guys won't have to look at this backdrop anymore. I know it's getting old. It's the best we can do from now. Hopefully things are going to change soon. Alright, so that was the second pass. I am going to need a little bit more soap, so I'm going to go ahead and re-lather in just a second. I'm sorry, re uh, reload. I just didn't get quite enough, which it happens sometimes. There's nothing wrong with that. You know, could I have loaded? Could I load a little longer? Yeah. Could I load it a little less? Yeah. It happens. It is what it is. No big deal. There we go. 
I got a little weeper right there. That happened. That might have been something that I had on the skin. I think I remember um, something yesterday where it was where it got me pretty good. So that's a possibility also. There we go. All right. Yeah, that's better. That's better. There we go. I didn't get quite a quite enough of a load on it the first time. This to back is great smelling stuff. Yeah. If I could only find some that smells like hops number nine, that's the uh, that's the stuff that that I used to clean guns with. If I could find a soap that smelled like that, man, I'd be in I'd be in Nirvana. Or like we say in the South, I'd be walking in tall cotton. I was sorry to hear my friend, uh, the Northern Shaver, um, needing to take some time away. Man, I get it, all right? You gotta do what you gotta do, you know? Family, for sure, comes first. But I really enjoyed watching his videos. He will be back, but he will be missed while he's gone. I think everybody kind of goes through those stages, those phases where they, they just don't have the time to upload the video. They don't have the time to keep up with what's going on. That's okay, you know. You just gotta step away sometimes and I get it. You gotta do what you gotta do for yourself. So, more than sure, hope you're watching this video. If you are, let me know. I would, uh, I would love to know how you're doing. He's a good guy from up, uh, up in Canada. There you have it right there. All right, let's just do a little bit of a touch up real quick right here. There we go, now we'll come to the mustache area. All right, now shut it before, and I'll shave it again. The mustache area right, is the bane of my existence. If I can't get it good and cleaned up, yeah. it's going to drive me crazy all day long. Especially, especially on the corners of my mouth. That's good enough. Alright, touch up pass. You guys like coffee? I definitely recommend that uh, check out the uh, Cafe Bustello blend. It's good stuff. That's the one I opened up yesterday, right there. So that's all that is. All right. Touch up pass. Here we go. Listen to it sing. You know, some people say that, that noise is scary or off-putting. Nah, it's a good noise. I like it. That way I know what's, what's going on by hear and by, by feel. Clogproof's a great shaver. Great, great shaver. I highly recommend that you pick one up if you don't have one in your arsenal. All right, there you have it. Not a BBS. We're not going to try to chase the baby today. We could, but we're not going to. We're going to get a little bit more coffee in us. Hang on just a second. All right, we're going to put a little bit of witch hazel on, kind of help these cuts and nicks. Here we go. 
go. A bit cold water now. Let me dry my face off real quick, guys. Oh, there we go. Okay. That will work. That will. Ain't nothing wrong with that. All right. After shave today is going to be the Gillette Cool Wave. The old lady said, or the uh, the wife says, that uh, it makes me smell like an old man. I don't care. I like it. It's good stuff. Whew. So there you have it. Thursday morning shave, what can I say? Super easy, super, super efficient, great razors. If you don't have a clog proof, uh, I definitely recommend that you guys pick one up. They're top of the line, great stuff. Hope you guys enjoyed. Hope you guys have a great day. And until next time, great shaves. Y'all take it easy. Bye.